Hi, lovely friends. Hi, guys. <laughs> Today we are still here in Oaxaca. Yep, in the Rancho RV Park. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Pop, Cap, Paco, and Pepe. They yep. are the best hosts. They are. <laughs> and Kali, thank you for taking care of this place. Yes. So yeah, we are here today and uh, it's funny, we met some Germans yeah, here. Yeah, it's like every time that we think we will leave, somebody else new comes and it's pretty exciting. <laughs> so let's walk over there. Yes. So we are gonna show you today yes. a room tour uh -huh. of this nice vehicle. Tata, and now we are not in front of ours, like you can see. No. But it's a little history. Uh -huh. This is a Mercedes 813. And Christian, the owner, and Asha, they will tell us a little bit more about that in this video. So stay tuned about this history lesson. I am Isabella, and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian, and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. So now you see, I told you, we are on top of a truck and we have two people sitting here with us. This is Asha and Christian and they both have also a YouTube channel, Eble on the Road. Eble on the Road, right. You will see that somewhere here. Yeah, we will yeah. put their logo. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for having us here today. Yeah. yeah, and it's pretty amazing because they are also from Germany. Yeah. And they can introduce themselves and talk a little about... Yeah, yeah. you go first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my name is Asha. And I was adopted from Germans and yeah, it was like when I was 10 years old, we came back and then we lived in a little city down in Black Forest and it was nice. beautiful. And then 2011, yeah, we met I there. met this handsome little guy. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Christian, I'm also from Germany and um, my profession is I'm a carpenter. So that's why I was able to build a car by yourself. Nice. And before we met, I, do the, I did the traditional traveling for carpenters from Germany with the clothes, the special clothes, and you travel all over the world and see different places. Nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> so how long did you do this Timmerman job? Uh, I did it almost four years. Nice. Yeah. So who, for whoever out there doesn't know, this is a German or European special thing. Right, yeah. If you are a carpenter, you are on the road, auf der Weiz, yeah. it's called. Yeah. And we're going to show some pictures how he looked like. And yeah. you have to wear those clothes all, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And you go from village to village and help people build houses right, yeah, and they give working. you food and you can sleep right right yeah so yeah. this is amazing so you get it the is. travel blog bug through that yeah. right yeah. <laughs> so how did you start traveling in this rig or how did it you know how did it start um it started 2014 we traveled backpacking in southeast asia in uh, Indonesia and in Malaysia and Thailand and then we decided that we don't want to live in Germany anymore because we want to live somewhere close to the ocean. We want to get rid of the winter too because we don't like the cold weather and then we said okay now we take five years work as much as we can save uh -huh. money as much as we can and then we wanted to leave so the plan was just to leave. Nice yeah. Yeah. and that's what you did you built it how long did it take you to build this rig? Oh. <laughs> uh, all, all in all, we it took one and a half years yeah. from buying it to finish it, but in between we, we had full-time jobs. Okay. So the just the hours on the car was 700 hours to build. Wow, yeah. to build it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, yeah, it was a lot of work, but an interesting part because we were never camping before. Yeah. And I just have seen this car on the internet and called Asha, hey, look at this car, and three days later we bought it. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to talk about the car more specific because you're going to give me a tour, right? Yes, yeah. sure. Nice. Yeah. So you're going to see, guys, in this video, you're going to see 
the outside tour with yeah. Christian and me. We're gonna ask a few questions and then inside the ladies yeah. like you used to. <laughs> so now Perfect. I'm gonna enjoy now my breakfast. breakfast time. Yeah. <laughs> and see you down there. Okay guys, so now we are here in front of this lovely truck. So tell us about it. What year is it? Yeah. What is it? It's from 1983. It's a Daimler Benz. In this time they called it Daimler Benz, not Mercedes Benz. It's a 7.5 ton all in all when, when you be fully loaded. Uh, six cylinder, 130 horsepower, nice. but uh, no 4x4. Four four. <laughs> and I can see here a number. Yeah. So what does that mean? That means the, the one three is for the 100 horsepower and the eight is for the weight. Nice, so yeah. maximum eight tons the ships right. you can have. Right, yeah. So just for a comparison, we are 1023, so 230 horsepower, right? And right, yeah, 10 and 10 tons. tons. Approximately. Yeah. So this is actually, that's how it all started, and our truck is where they are right now. So this is right, pretty yeah. interesting to yeah. see, a little history. Yeah, it's the cap over cars. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people know the, the Kurzhauber in German. Yes. With the little thing in front for the engine, and this is like the cap over. So this was the first one that didn't have the nose anymore. I think it's one of the first, one but the I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. So it's pretty bad to work on it because you cannot flip the cabin. You have to go from the inside or from down. Oh, you can't flip this? You can't flip it, no. Ah, okay. So yeah. they changed with, throughout the years. Yeah. We flip ours and yeah. that's it. And it's easy to work on then. Nice. Yeah. So you are no 4x4, right? No. No, we thought we don't go like this this far away from civilization or something yeah and we didn't need it until now because we have a good clearance yeah for the speed bumper and everything but two times we stuck in the sand so it's not really good to drive on sand but they are here <laughs> so they made it right awesome. yeah yeah <laughs> i like it yeah yeah so let's check out the inside of the truck so that is nice yeah it's some kind of nostalgic, but we like it. I mean, it would be nice to have air condition sometimes. Yeah. Because we don't have air conditioner, but we put down the windows and sweat. It's perfect. Yeah. So you have everything you need. You don't have the buttons for 4x4 because it's yeah. not 4x4. Right, yeah. It's pretty pretty amazing. They didn't... I have a feeling they didn't change so much. I mean, technology-wise, yeah. maybe. Sure, yeah, yeah. They kept the same. And you have three seats. Nice. Yeah, that's good. And um, from the... Because it was from the TV, they already put good isolation in here, so it's pretty quiet. Ah, okay, so, perfect. Yeah, you can go 80, 85 and still speak with each other. Nice. Normally. Yeah. And I see you don't have a walkthrough? No. So that keeps it more right, calm yeah. as well. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, and we bought it with 8,000 kilometers. The car. Nice, it's yeah. unbelievable. 83 and 8,000 kilometers. Yeah. So That's and, amazing. And now we have 28, so... We drove a little. So yeah, tell me about the inside now. How many gears you have? We have five gears and one four reverse. Okay, so, yeah. nice. Yeah, the most time you don't use the first one, it's if you go really steep hills and you can go really, really steep hills, uphill. Yeah. Then you use the first one, otherwise it's you just started too. And you start rolling. Yeah. And uh, what's the consumption of this? It's a diesel truck, right? It's a diesel truck and it takes about 20 liters for 100 km. Yeah, that's not so bad so, for the size. And right, the yeah. I mean, we are on 7,100 kilograms. Okay. If we have some water and diesel, so yeah. But it's okay. I mean, when you go uphill, you go like really slow. Sometimes yeah. we just go with 30 km or something. Nice. And yeah, and we have air suspension. So here you can see um, if you have enough air inside. Okay. To to lower the back or lift up the back and a little bit. You put some twelve volt plugs. Yes, yeah, sure, that everywhere. Yeah, yes. yeah. You nice. need some. We put some here. Oh wow, nice. And we put some over here in the back, and this one's. So you can charge everything you need. Yes. Okay, now we are back in the outside, and I see some aluminum stuff. And what is this? But um, this box I built because there was so much space in between here, and we just have 90 liters of uh, original diesel tank and that's not a lot so uh, we decided to put one more diesel tank in here it's with um, 160 liters so all in all we can go 1200 kilometers now and you fill it in here so nobody see it and it's 
pretty easy. Nice idea to use yeah. the space wisely. And this is your spare tire. That's a spare tire. We have two, one in the back and one here. Okay. So that's just the rubber. And yeah, just some stuff, sun chairs and whatever. So up here we have our for the Wi-Fi because it's all aluminium, the box, and you don't have signal inside, not from the cell phone and not from Wi-Fi. So we have this antenna that takes the Wi-Fi signals from everywhere, take, put it inside of the car to a router, and then we have our own system. Or you can put the SIM card into the router, and this one goes for LTE, 4G, 5G, whatever is around. So you always have really good connection and you always have your own router, your own system in the car. So what is here? Here's a window, I see that already, but inside we look later. Yeah, so that's a, a toolbox because we fix everything by ourselves. We need all the tools to fix everything. Nice. And uh, here I have like to lift it, the car, car check. Oh, I don't even have to hold it, I'm sorry. I no, hold. yeah. Perfect. This came with the truck or you made this? No, it was inside and it, everything fits perfect in nice, here. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And this looks like? Uh, there was the, because it was from the television, they had batteries in there too. So okay. this one back in the back of here, they had the batteries, but I took everything out and that's just the, the air from the heating can go ah, out here. So you don't use this? No, no, we never use it. It's closed from the inside. Okay. Yeah. And I hear something here? Yeah, that's, fan? that's from the toilet that's mm, in nice. the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a compost toilet and you always have to take the air out. Yeah. So that's there. And here we have the water tank from the shower. Ah, okay. Yeah, I decided to make the gray it... Gray water tank. Gray water. Yes. But I decided to make, to split all the gray water. So we have all separate. That's just the shower. Then we have just from dishwashing and another one just from toothbrushing. Okay. Because in this way we can stay somewhere like for six months yes. and then you just take out whatever you need and put it where you have to put it. Great idea. Now we walk to the back of the lovely truck. So we still have the terrace open. Right there. And we have uh, the solar right here. That's the back of the truck. And what's behind here? Yeah, we, we, we wanted to take a motorbike with us to be more flexible. And if something happens to the truck, we still can go some kilometers and buy diesel or whatever. Yeah. But we didn't want to have it on the outside to show everybody what you have. So that's why we decided to build a little garage in here. Oh wow, look at this garage. Yeah, and here we made a space for the motorbike, so it fits in here perfectly. And we lift it in with this winch. We took the winch down here, and then you just take ah, it up with that. the winch. Yeah. This is the, this is the... Yeah, it goes, goes down here. Check this out, nice. Yeah, in the beginning I had to do it by hand all the time, and it was too, too heavy. heavy. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, that's a great idea. We have a winch too, but... Outside. Outside, yeah. So it's great. Yeah. And this is the head from your... From the carpenters, yeah. From the carpenters. So yeah. you kept this and brought yeah. it Yeah. I use it when it's raining, so it's pretty good for that. So you wore this five years? Four years, yeah, yeah. Four years, yeah. Nice. Yeah, here we have our wok because we like Asian food, more tools for fixing everything. And... An outside shower. Yeah, we have the outside shower. <laughs> for um, hot and cold water. And I made the outside kitchen over here. So you take this one down and then you can cook here and you have the water from here. Ah, yeah. very clever. Yeah. So you have everything here and the gas stove and you're set for cooking yeah. outside. Yeah. So we're still at the back. So yeah. explain me, I mean, we're gonna see it from the inside later with the ladies, um, but what is this tank? This tank is from the compost toilet. So it takes the, do you, you separate the hard stuff and the liquid. So that's for the liquid. The pee and the poo. The pee and the poo. Yeah, yeah, one and two. And behind here is the toilet, so I can empty it from the outside. So this is basically right an outhouse now because that's the window, right? Right, that's you have the a window to the toilet. I saw it already. You yeah. can see that later. Yeah, yeah. I put this in when we have the door open. It's nice to have some light and air inside. And, and this one, when you open, what happens? It's the uh, toilet. There, there's and the toilet ah, okay. and everything. So it's really easy accessible and yeah. Nice. Yeah. And I see up here this 83 you said, right? 83. Yeah. yeah. This 83 year old truck got some new electric stuff. So yes. what is this? Yeah, that's our 12 volt system. What we have in the inside, we have 200 amps of lithium batteries. And on this side you see it's the converter. 
in English? Inverter, it, yeah. Yeah, inverter, it makes 220 from 12 volt. In the back is the controller for the solar panels. The MPPT, yes. Yeah, and here we have a charger from 110 to 220, so we can just plug it in and charge the batteries. Nice, so when you're on campgrounds, you plug in and that's it. Yeah, normally we don't need it. It's just after two, three days without sun, we need to yeah. plug it in. And you don't run any external diesel generator or something? Uh, yeah, we use this small one. Oh, you have one? Okay. Yeah, the little one in here. And then we just run it for three hours and then the batteries are full. Nice. Yeah. And this is all your carpentry tools, Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like tools for the car and whatever do you need. This, guys, this is, again, 10 times more tools than we have, but <laughs> he knows what he's doing with his hands. Yeah, I need to fix the car <laughs> by myself, so you need all this. And here we have, the, that's the only antenna we kept, kept from the television thing. Okay. Because this one you can take 8 meters out from there, and then you have 11 meters. And sometimes we put the antenna for the Wi-Fi on it. So it is really 10 meters above, you have maybe a better reception. Yeah, sometimes you have, yeah, because nice. of trees or cars or something. Nice. Yeah. All right, that's the back. All right, so now we're on the side, on the driver's side again. What's in here? It, that's our outside storage, because you always have chairs and tables for camping and stuff like that. So we have it here and this goes all the way to the shower, to the other side. So nice. you can put some long stuff in so here. So it is massive, a lot of place, room, space in yeah. this vehicle. Yeah, we just, the mini, the most important thing for us on the car was to have a lot of storage because we moved from the apartment in the car and we had to take everything. So this car is basically just storage. Nice. Yeah. And it's lots of it. Yeah. So Christian, now we're here. Yeah. Uh, still at the outside but this is the motorcycle we talked about right yeah yeah that's the original honda dux they um sold it in germany and we bought it because you can fold the handlebars yeah it's really easy you just fold them like that nice and that's how it fits in the garage so perfect it weighs about 80 kilos Eight, yeah 80 kilograms it's perfect it yeah. runs with the petrol right yeah. Good. and it's registered in germany yeah <laughs> Yeah, All yeah, right. we like this little thing. And now we have another storage box, so what is that? Yeah, because we want to stay off-grid long terms too, like three, four weeks, you have to put your garbage somewhere. Yeah. And this one was pretty rusty from the beginning, so that's why we made a little garbage box down here. Nice. Yeah, it's it's good because the animals cannot reach it and you can yeah, put your stuff. Yeah, it's outside and right, yeah, yeah. perfect idea. Yeah. So here we have the door. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna see that later when Isabella and Asha show you the inside. But here's another. Yeah, here we have our, because we cook with gas, with propane. So here's our propane tank and the uh, gray water from dishwashing. Ah, okay, because he separates all the gray water. Yeah, yeah, I can take this one just on a motorbike and bring it somewhere if, if I have if to. If you need to, right. Yeah, and that's just stuff <laughs> you have. Nice, and this was again. Uh, this is a closet too. Ah, because on, we, we on need... the other side we have the tank. Remember? Yes, yes. And on this side you have the closet. But now you have to go on this side because otherwise oh. you don't see it. Sorry. Check this out. And here we have something really, really important. <laughs> yeah, we we use it for shoes. I mean, you could do something something else in here too but we use it for shoes nice so you can take yeah. so you have american cowboy boots yes and i bought them in america they are original nice yeah. so every german should have american cowboy boots yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so now we saw the outside with christian it's time to see the inside of this beautiful rig check out the ladies <laughs> So, Isabel, welcome to our home. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, let me just get inside yeah. first so it's easier. Oh, wow. This is our kitchen and for us it was really important because we love cooking. Nice. And that was the main part. We wanted the kitchen to be big and spacey so you have enough space to work and, you know, put stuff everywhere. And we wanted actually um, the stove we wanted four, but now we know that we don't need four. Yeah. 
two is perfectly fine because the pots True. and pans they don't fit uh-huh and christian and me when we planned this it was like you know we had to make it customized because we had to make sure of the weight and everything yes. and also with the storage he says asha you can take four plates and four from everything <laughs> this is really german this is really german <laughs> so he you know we, we measured everything and then we nice. put the stuff in yeah so this is the typical stuff you have you know all the storages and nice yeah and the yeah. most important of course the fridge, fridge. it was wow. big yeah it's really big and yeah. christian is the chef he likes he he the spices. Yeah, so he built this cabinet extra so he can put all the spices in. And when you drive, ah, it's double door. Yeah, it's double ah. door. You just close it like nice. this. Yeah. Yeah, so. Great. I saw that you also put some LED lights. Yeah, that is that you have. Wow. The light to cook, exactly. Beautiful. And this is like leather. Yeah. This That's a amazing. special something. Can we you just... write on that too? No, 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 you can't write on it. <laughs> you like those uh, black boards or Exactly, no. Nice. We just wanted a bit fancy. And, and I like that the sink is really big. Yeah, that's also the German thing. We love big sinks. This here is from the storage from the outside, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, yes. Yeah. And this is what Christian built in, you know, oh, all the... Look yeah. the side and <laughs> yeah. perfect. Exactly, everything. Not to lose any space. Yeah. And here you have your silverware. Perfect. What he also did. Okay. And then we have a sitting area. Okay. You just pull this out. There you go. And then you have... Oh, nice. For two people, it's perfect. Exactly. Nice. And that's the kitchen. Now let's see the bathroom and bedroom of them. Okay. <laughs> and who's oh, here? Yeah. <laughs> Close the time. Yeah. <laughs> this is... The bed and that is also the main part we said we need a really comfortable bed because when you travel you know how it is you're so excited and you're exhausted and you want to fall into your bed sure. so we actually built the whole thing around the bed and this is the mattress it's 160 140, 140. by two meters exactly oh, so perfect yeah and then also was very important you have the storage underneath wow here are the water tanks that we have 300 liter Nice. Yeah, for shower and dishes. Uh huh. And then you have underneath all the storage place. It's I like see. a lying closet. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, and this goes up then. Yeah, this goes up. So it took a chest Yeah, ah, we wow. haven't got that manual yeah, yet. So but... <laughs> really nice. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah, and in the back you have the outside storage. Nice. So yeah. And I see that you have a lot of storage up there. Yeah, yeah. this is storage. And then we come to this part. Uh huh. Because everything was so narrow, I didn't want these all around. Yes. So we figured out that we take these shutters and they're like awesome. Wow. And it just... doesn't fall anything when nope, you drive. No, it no. doesn't fall out. Amazingly. It's yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then we have, yeah, you have and a lot of storage. storage. Yeah. That you can take more clothes than you need. Exactly. Yeah. Down there you <laughs> have the yeah. boiler. Ah, the boiler. Yeah. yeah. How many liters is your boiler? Six liters. Six liters. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, that's yeah, good Yeah, I think enough, ours right? is six or ten, but yeah. it's like more than enough. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. enough yeah. to show and everything. Yeah. 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 And here you have more storage. Wow. <laughs> it's a clever idea to put those yeah. instead of doors. Exactly. And then here we have our little bathroomy uh -huh. where we brush our teeth. Nice. Wash your hands. And yeah, it's a perfect solution for perfect. us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I see that you're fitting your I'm shower. I'm in the shower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I cut the floor. I, I cut the floor a little bit out so the, sh the shower is more ah, in the height. Okay. Yes. Because here I'm more deep than you over there. Yes. But it's still isolation but underneath. Perfect. You can turn around. There's more yes. than enough space for, for, for us. It's okay for two people. Nice. Yeah. You can take shower together. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Yeah. And we put a uh, vinyl on the walls. Okay. To keep it because of the water. Yes. Stuff and it's sealed afterwards. Nice. So Good and it's easy to clean, like the floor. It's and your toilet, your compost toilet, yeah, where it is? Yeah, it's up here. It's the drone. It's so oh. You pull this one out and then you step nice. out. Nice. <laughs> this right. is a pretty nice position. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because the batteries <laughs> are underneath. And here we have the storage. Wow! Yeah. And you built all that? Yes. I built all that. Inside everything. was everything you. Yeah, I ripped everything out and built everything. Wow! Mm -hmm. yeah. You did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it looks <laughs> really nice. Yeah. I really like that. The, the window you. Oh yeah, the inside. little window that we saw from outside. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Really clever idea uh -huh. too to put it there. Yeah. yeah. You right. Open the doors exactly. And have the window. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. the flow. 
And I see mm -hmm. that you also have a fan, yeah. Yeah. a window up. Yeah, the yeah. Perfect. And the car came without the fan, and we were so naive. We didn't know, you know, about first time traveling. And then um, it was just um, a glass window. Yes. And then um, it broke, and we had to replace it. And now we're so happy that we have the fan yeah, it's because way yeah, it's yeah, it's way better. Yeah, it's perfect to circulate exactly. inside of the house. Right. Yeah. Right. You open the side here, you open the sides there, yeah. and then you put that, and yeah. it circulates uh, mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And this yeah. is wonderful because it takes out the heat when you cook, uh -huh. and then in the evening when it brings in the cool air. So. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And how long are you guys traveling in this truck? Uh, in the Central America, it's one year now. We started in Baltimore. Nice. So one week ago, it was one year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> but after the building, we traveled in Europe okay. to test everything and nice. see what we have to change for three months. Mm. Cool. So it's a little bit over a year all in nice. all. Nice. Yeah. And yeah. what is the plan? Where the trip will bring you? Yeah, the original plan wa was the original plan was go to Panama okay. and live there because we don't want to go back to Germany. Okay. But now COVID changed a lot. Yes. Yeah. And now we then going maybe we live in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. In <laughs> somewhere here or in yeah, we will see. Okay. Until now we don't know. But we enjoy traveling, so yeah. yeah. Then the plan is not to live on the truck full time. It's like if I yeah. to the well, is go to Panama exactly. and then there make a life. Yeah, but yeah. we built the truck as a tiny home because you can take the box. Yeah. And I built everything in the box. Okay. So it's easy to it's 12, 12 screws and then you unscrew the box. Oh. Put it somewhere as a tiny home. Oh, and nice. Mm -hmm. So we actually buy a land exactly. and then you have the home. Yeah. Right, yeah, that was the original plan and stay some time in here, save money and nice. yes. Yeah. And use the, the, the truck for, you know, tools or whatever yeah, or working or whatever. Working yeah. Yeah. as this a pickup. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never thought about that. <laughs> there you go. I always take the box out, buy a land made in Costa Rica close yeah, to them. Yeah, that would be perfect. We are thinking about the containers on, but not our box. The box, yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> but it's possible. Yeah, I do love your home. Yeah. And I think it's amazing that you guys did all that mm -hmm. by yeah. yourselves. Yes. Yeah, it was yeah, an I, interesting time. Yes, I very. Imagine, yeah. imagine. Yeah. One last treat that we had also was our wardrobe because, you know, you just have stuff that you want every day. And then yeah. down here, Christian built me a shoe, a little shoe boxy. Nice, more shoes. Because more shoes. Oh my gosh. Shoe box yeah. outside. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need that much shoes. I oh, see. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. And nice. this. Yeah, these are like a lot. What yeah, this bad? is our magnet. And this is our all our memories of our travels where we've been and people we've met. Nice. And, yeah. And then we can put our shoe. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. We're going to find the perfect spot, but yeah. for now, we're going to put you here. Yeah. <laughs> and then come with a sticker. Yeah, and we need the stickers, of course. Yes. Thank you so much. I love your home. It's really beautiful. Thank you for having it's really us. It's really cozy. And yeah, now let's go outside. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, guys, for watching. And thanks, Christian and Asha, yes. for uh, giving us the tour of their rig. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ebel on the road. Eble on the road. Eble. Eble. E L E. You're gonna see that somewhere here. We were right. On the road <laughs> is their YouTube channel. Go over there, subscribe if you like it, and check out their videos, how they built the truck, how they're traveling. And yeah, we also have a new membership ship site coming. Yes. So the join button is somewhere around here. Just try to click on that. Thanks again, guys. Out. Thank you, yeah. guys. Thank you so time. much. Yeah. See you when we see you. See you. Bye bye. Bye. I release my pain. Never break my chains. Only myself and I are spread my wings and fly. Wait to paradise. You will see me shine.